Hi there, Nancy Chapin with Windermere Mount Baker here. Hey, thank you for joining us. We just want to show you all the steps that we are doing here at our office to make sure that when you come to see us, that we're keeping you and everybody else safe. So let me show you what we do here at Windermere Mount Baker to make sure we're following all the CDC guidelines and keeping everybody safe. When you first come in, you'll come on over to this station where we've got a sign in, we've got gloves available, we've got some disinfectants, we've got some hand sanitizer. We're gonna take your temperature, make sure you don't have a fever or any sign of illness. We've also got some extra masks. So if you didn't remember to bring one, we've got you covered. But what about when we're out touring homes? That's why we have these great kits. We're all in for your safety. Your broker will have these with them. It's got gloves and a mask and a little hand sanitizer wipe. So again, you got these on us, we're gonna take good care of you no matter where you are. We're gonna do everything we can to keep you and our community and our own selves and family safe. So if it means wearing a mask, we're gonna wear a mask. So follow me and we're gonna talk a little bit about how to wear a mask and how not to wear a mask. As you can tell, it's really hard to hear people when they talk with a mask on. So I'm just gonna take a minute, oh, whew, breathe a little bit and talk to you a little bit about masks. <laughs> Safety is always one of the cornerstones here for us at Windermere Mount Baker, which is why we wear a mask. It's not to keep ourselves safe, it's to keep you safe. The crazy thing about this coronavirus is we don't know who's sick or not. So really that's our commitment always has been and will continue to be the cornerstone because we care about our community. Because at the end of the day, wearing a mask is about being selfless and caring about other people. And I wanted to cover a little bit about how to wear a mask and how not to wear a mask. One of my biggest faux pas is I wear it like this. I put it around my neck when I'm in my car or when I leave my house. And then I walk into an establishment thinking about what I'm there for, groceries, dog food, whatever. This is not helping anybody when it's around my neck. So I have found that the ones that go up along the back of the head do the best for really covering and keeping um, stuff from going back and forth. So my family member made this for me and I love it. She also put these little zippy things on it, which are awesome. Put it there. And that's how you see me most of the time around the city these days. Now that being said, not everybody has that. So another type of mask that a lot of people have been wearing and because they're super easy to sew are these pleated ones that go around your ears. Also a really great alternative. And they tend to have a certain, um, depending on how they're made, the right kind of elastic to be pretty snug around the ears to really keep it in place. Now, what I'm also seeing a lot of is the disposable ones. I couldn't believe I could actually find them at the store the other day. So you've got this type. Here is an example of how I don't think you should be wearing your mask. Now I know it's easier to drop it down like this because you're maybe not feeling like you're close enough to anybody, but some people leave it here. I don't know if they breathe through their chin or not, but this is not how to wear a mask. Another way to not wear your mask is like this. Now I know for a lot of people, you start here, you talk, 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 and it ends up here because when it's down like this, I hate to say it, but it does nothing to protect you and all the other people around you. So please know all of us here at Windermere Mount Baker have, just like we always have, we care so much about the community and are doing everything we can to keep ourselves and you safe. So whenever you go into any of our listings, you're gonna find masks and gloves and hand sanitizer. We are following all of the CDC guidelines to make sure that people can still be looking for a house or selling their house and not be putting themselves at risk. So if you are still interested in buying or selling a house, please reach out to one of us here at the office. We'd love to help you out. And just as one last reminder to you, please wear a mask, wash your hands, and best of all, stay home.